the holy. I want to have the boon of the reward of devotion to our beloved Lord. I'm asking my Lord that this is the only thing that, this is the only fruit that I need in my life. What is that fruit? The fruit of devotion to a lotus-like feet. This is what I need. There is nothing else in the world that interests me but purely my sheer love and devotion for you. He says, He says, my Lord, people who think like this and who live this type of life, he says, their hearts are like a temple. My Lord, enthrone yourself in those hearts. Go there and make that heart your home. He was asking for a place in which to live. But Valmiki is such a profound teacher, a, great, a learned scholar, a great thinker. He knew what the Lord meant. We all say the Lord lives within the heart. Everybody tells us the Lord is within the heart. The Lord is within the heart, but what happens? Why are some people so unpalatable to deal with and there are others, they are just poisonous. Why? Why is that? If the Lord is in dwell of all hearts, why it is some are so good and others are on the other extreme? Lord Mahadev tells about the poverty by a beautiful illustration. He says, in this illustration it says that if you strike a match on the sulfur box, what happens? A fire emerges. Isn't that so? But do you think you created that fire? That fire was always there in the atmosphere, in a latent form. But it needed a certain condition in which to manifest itself or emerge. And that condition was the friction of the sulfur on the box. They say in a similar fashion, in a similar fashion, the Divine is in everybody, but it needs a certain condition in which to show forth itself. And that condition is praying. Praying is divine love. When one creates that kind of love, of devotion, then it causes the divine within us to come out, to manifest itself in terms of our speech, in our behavior, in our actions, in our thoughts. And when, someone, when you look at someone in terms of their behavior, their thinking, their speech, you will know that that is a good person. That person has God within him. So he continues in Chopa, he says, 